Hi guys, this is Arish Gaupale. Welcome to the channel Ecology and Automation. In this video, I'm going to explain you what is cluster, how to create cluster, what is the function of unbundle by name, what is the function of bundle by name, then unbundle means unbundle means what, bundle means what, what is the function of build cluster array, what is the function of index and bundle cluster array, then how to use cluster to array, array to cluster. Let's get understand all these things in the programming. Okay. So first come here in the lab of window. Okay. Now to explain the cluster first, I need you to create cluster here. So simply uh, go to the control palette and then come to the data containers and click on this blank cluster. Okay. And then kept here. Now increase the size of this cluster. So guys, so cluster means it is, it is nothing but group of different data types. Now group of different data type means what? See, in lab view, we have four, four types of data types. Uh, integer data type, then double data type, boolean data type, and string data type. So first create all the data types. So for that, go to the control palette and click on this numeric control and create here. This is double data type. Okay, means point value. Now copy this numeric control and paste here okay and then change the representation of this second numeric okay go to the representation and click on this i32 now this become integer data type this is double data type this is integer data type okay now uh, create a boolean data type so for that simply go to the boolean uh, palette and click on this round led okay increase string data type okay go to the string and path palette and create a string okay now what i say what i'm saying here that cluster means what all it is nothing but the group of different data types so put these all the data types into the cluster so first these double data type okay yeah now select this cluster right click go to the auto sizing option and click on this size to fit okay now this become our cluster which is now guys if suppose you want to create a constant cluster then how you can create? so for that simply go to the cluster palette click on this cluster constant and capture now same like uh, creating a uh, cluster controller go uh, and uh, we need a numeric control numeric constant so simply now guys if you understand what is cluster and how to create a cluster so let's move towards the uh, cluster uh, palette to understand the functions of other tools but uh, before going to cluster palettes uh, let's change the name of these data types from the cluster so consider as a gender and consider these string data types as the name now come to this boolean data type okay right click go to the uh, properties okay and click on the show boolean text okay uh, on this on text write mail okay and this is female 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 change the uh, color of this off that is what pink okay now click on this okay now go to the cluster palette and click on this pin button okay and uh, uh keep this unbundle by name and kept here and unbundle okay and then close this cluster palette now guys if i talk about the function of this unbundle by name so this tool returns the element with a specified name first right click okay wait go to the visible item and click on this label okay now connect these input cluster terminal to the available cluster okay now you can see it this tool return the name of the elements which we have uh, created here in this cluster okay this is age mobile number gender and name now come to the function of these uh, unbundle 
only unbundled. You can see the name unbundled. So this uh, tool also returns the element, but with not a specified name. Okay, let's connect this and see the result. Okay, yeah, you can see the mm, uh, data types, but not a specified name. You can create here. Okay, this is our gender that is trait indicator. Oh, okay, and this is name. We have separately create all the indicators. That means if you if suppose uh, in any program uh, there is an a cluster, and if you want to um, uh, separate the elements from a cluster, that time you can use unbundle by name or bundle by name trait indicator. Now before click on the run button enter the random age that is my age is 22 mobile number yeah my mobile number is email my name harish gaupale h a r i s h gaupale q u e a l e and now select all these indicators change the position okay now now click on this run button now you can see guys the result okay we are getting result i am a male the reason result this gives the male if i'm clear I'm, ch I'm changing from male to female then click on this run button now you can see the now again go to the cluster palette click on this pin button okay and click on this bundle by name kept here and cl similarly click on this bundle okay and i close this palette now come to this bundle by name right click go to the visible item click on this label similarly here with bundle visible item label okay maximize this block diagram window okay and uh, delete this constant cluster because we don't need change the position of this bundle by name here also okay and now increase the element of this bundle okay now if i talk about the function of this so this bundle by name replace different elements into the cluster okay for that we need to create different elements but if you see i have already you know, different elements which i have uh, replaced from the cluster so i think i should use these elements here okay and if i talk about the function of this bundle so this tool also replace the element of a uh, different element into the cluster but bundle by name replace the specified elements you can see i have specified that is age mobile but before uh, connecting this terminal to the specified elements uh, let's uh, create a input cluster for this bundle by name now you can see uh, this is uh, this bundle by name wants a specified element so we need to create a a specified input cluster so how we can create simply copy this cluster and paste here okay now change this input controller cluster into the constant okay now it becomes a specified cl input cluster okay change the position of this specified cluster okay and then connect this to the input cluster terminal where is that terminal connect to this input cluster terminal okay yeah now you can see the name of the name of the elements okay so simply yeah now connect this age terminal to the age element okay simply and create output create indicator okay yeah similarly connect this uh, terminal of bundle by bundle only to the available elements first increase the from the unbundle okay simply yeah okay now here is also you can see i need input cluster so copy this which i already created okay and paste here connect this input cluster to the terminal of this bundle 
okay now connect this edge terminal to the edge element element okay yeah create indicator here also okay yeah now put this block diagram inside the while loop so create while loop okay yeah now create control to this conditional terminal okay yeah now minimize this window now come to this front panel window change the position of both the cluster okay change the position of this stop button okay yeah now click on this run button hmm. now you can see if i'm increasing this age 22 then the out you can see the output of cluster one and cluster two that is increasing then if i'm changing mobile number then also this changing random enter any random mobile number okay you can see the mobile number here if i'm changing from male to female female to male you can see the uh, output from all the clusters okay if i'm changing name enter anything now you can see the harish and the anything okay so i have successfully explained what is cluster how to create cluster how to create create cluster constant what is the function of unbundle by name bundle by name unbundle and bundle so i think it is enough for this section we'll meet in the next session thank you so much guys